Hello there. Call me MC Marvel. We begin our epic tales of March Mammal Madness tonight. Join us, won't you? The tiny whip scorpion is magically transported to a strange, smooth, slippery surface surrounded by ocean. The schizoid scrabbles about madly and finds a strange dark tunnel. But that is no tunnel. With a huge whoosh, the whale expels air and water vapor out its blowhole, and the scorpion flies into the air and then sinks into the depth. We lay our scene in Ethiopia over three million years ago. The hound shark finds itself in a shallow river and settles down to get its bearings. Lucy approaches the river for a drink. She dips in a hand and startles the shark. The shark flees downstream to safety, leaving Lucy the victor. The Tarzan chameleon perched in a tree in Madagascar, alert for insects. Suddenly, the March Mammal Magic Portal opened, where the giant squid lay in wait. The chameleon took a step, but suddenly a new noise filled the air. Loggers with chainsaws! The chameleon's tree fell, with chameleon still on it, without ever reaching the field of battle. The oblivious squid is the winner. In South Africa, the albatross was happily nesting when two things occurred simultaneously. A hungry mouse in the nest bit into its elbow, and it was suddenly transported to the Polish primeval forest, where the raven sat atop the carcass of a bison. The confused albatross spread its wings, dislodging the mouse. The raven jumped forward and snatched the mouse. The albatross, wanting no part of this carnage, awkwardly ran and took flight, leaving the raven to wonder just who was that harmless albatross. The majestic stag was foraging in England's New Forest National Park when the starling appeared on the scene. The starling wanted to forage as well, but the high deer population means there is little ground-level vegetation here for insects. The starling sees nothing to eat and flies away in disgust for greener pastures. The stag wins! Deep in Poland's Bialowieża National Park, the tiny harvest mouse discovered a tasty seed. As he sat chewing in contemplation, he heard a twig snap. The wolf was standing right behind him. The mouse froze in place. The wolf stood, listening. The mouse burst for safety into the shrubbery, leaving the field of battle. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, well, Actually, in what is now Tajikistan, the Caspian tiger ambled to a riverbank to drink. His mighty paw stepped down on the greedoid catfish, who immediately darted out between the tiger's toes and fled the scene. The solo tiger wins! <laughs> The mighty boar stretches about seven stoats long, while the Indian gray mongoose is only about two and a half stoats long. In the Himalayan foothills, the boar foraged about for mushrooms. The mongoose foraged as well, but discovered a king cobra. Mongoose and cobra stared at each other. The boar watched curiously. The cobra struck at the mongoose, leaving her nest of eggs exposed. The boar went for the eggs, the mongoose went for the cobra. 
the mongoose chomped the cobra and dragged it off the field of battle, leaving the boar with a victory and a nice egg and mushroom on it. This concludes part one of our saga. Tune in next time for more. And remember, if you're learning, you're winning. Also, check out the Read All About It in the descriptions below.